It's a simple film. It's a simple love story, as all love stories. Under the surface, it's not so simple. What I wish to share with the hoped audiences, uh, somehow I try to hide underneath, um, under this, uh, this simple story. Um, and somehow, I, I must say, when I wrote the script, uh, I never thought about what this film is about. Um, it was the most instinctive way of writing uh, from, of any of my scripts. But somehow it goes down to one question, how it is worthwhile to, to live our life. It's short, it's very much limited by so many things, so many external things, but it's such a beautiful present. In this love story, two people meet, but through meeting, they discover in one case and re rediscover in the other case um, the world around them. So at the end of the film somehow they get a present and the present is the other person and they get another present uh, that they are much more fully uh, present in their life. It doesn't mean complete happiness but if they are sad, if they have difficulties, whatever they go through, they won't be just resolving the situations. They will be there. They will be alive. That's what I wish for everybody. To tell the truth, as I thought, it was a very instinctive writing process. I didn't build these characters. They were there. I had the feeling I know them very well, very deeply. I just had to follow them and write them what I see as soon as I put them in a, in a dramatic situation. For sure there is a lot in Maria from me. Um, I uh, communicate quite well if I have to, if I have to give an interview, if I have to work with a team and I am zero when it's small talk, parties and so on. I'm really so f frozen before a party, for example, where I have to go much more than in, an, in, an, in a situation where we have a common purpose to, to resolve something together. So yes, there is a lot in Maria and me, but I feel as much for Andre, for the male character, um, as for Maria. I saw a uh, wonderful, powerful, uh, charismatic man uh, when they get older, when they get weaker, when their energy is a bit broken and the environment starts to get revenge. And it's always heartbreaking. So somehow for Andrea, I always had an image in front of me it's, it's a bull in the corrida, covered with dust, the neck bleeding from the picadas, the eyes a bit blurred already, but standing and looking for the enemy and his only wish is just to die with dignity. And somehow this is what Andrew tries to do. And at a certain point he says, Fuck dignity, I want to feel alive again, I want to be in love again, I want to be ridiculous, stupid, blinded by love, I want to risk to be refused, to be hurt, whatever, just, I go for it. So. <laughs>